Welcome to the showcase, baby. The showcase. Welcome back. And we have a phenomenal group, the American Me, right here in the USA. Once you gotta get a round of applause for this amazing band. I love them so much, I had to have them down here, and they was gracious to accept my invitation. So please give a warm round of applause for Quantum Split! Woo! <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you guys for coming down. How's it going? All right. How you doing, gentlemen? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's have a seat. Let's, let's get into this. All right. Um, there's nothing really that I can say to give you guys justice. So please introduce yourselves to the thousands of people watching and let them know what Quantum Split's all about. Hi everybody, my name is Soleil Laurent. I am the lead singer and one of the guitarists of Quantum Split. It's your boy Adrian Reed, aka Red, and I'm lead guitarist of Quantum Split. What's going on everybody? Ivan Hardy here, bass player, king of the low end. How are you doing guys? My name is Anthony Anderson and I'm the drummer. Yeah. Hold on now, hold on. <laughs> Anthony Anderson, I didn't know I didn't know you was a singer too. <laughs> <laughs> um that we are truly blackish, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> and we got dark chocolate, we got light chocolate, we got a white chocolate right here, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so right. let, let us know about what's going on. I mean, I, I, I seen you guys perform. Uh, uh, I think it was either Facebook or YouTube. Someone, uh, you, either we were in a group together and someone tagged me in it and said, you got to check these guys out. And at first I was just like, okay, well, who, who, who are they? Mm -hmm. He's like, no, I can't, I can't tell you. Just, just watch it. And I fell in love with it. Because at first they, they said it's a rock group. So I'm thinking rock, 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 okay, yeah, whatever. You're thinking like, no, <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to hear okay, this. Whatever, yeah. okay, what everybody says. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rock and roll, okay. If it, ain't, if it ain't Run DMC and then and, and what's the name? Yeah, Aerosmith. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so they said, no, trust me. So because of the kind of people that I go with, mm -hmm. I listen. I'm not glad I did. Um, why Quantum Split? Why not? <laughs> like uh, the actual band or the name? The name. Uh, well, actually, my father created the name. He's actually here today. And uh, actually, go ahead, Adrian. You want to tell them, everybody? All right, I'm, I'm gonna talk about the name because when I first came to the band, I thought the name was weird too. I was like, I hated the name at first. I I yeah. didn't understand, but I hated it not because of the name. I hated it because my father suggested it. Okay. So I was like, Dad, like another idea, you know? And it was cool, but you know, I'm his daughter, so everything has to be no before yes. Go ahead. All right, so, so I came into the band. I look at the sign, the symbol. I thought it was just a bunch of sticks put together, but in reality, it meant something. And her pops told me, check out this uh, this video on this experiment, which is the quantum split experiment. Mm -hmm. And what if I told you that if I'm watching you right now, you're you're restricting yourself more than if I'm not watching you. Like if I'm not watching you right now, nobody's watching you, you could you have a, a million possibilities of things that you could do. But if somebody's watching you, you're gonna restrict yourself. That's what the experiment is. If you break our body down to to what it is, our atoms. Atoms act in a, in a line pattern when you're watching them. When you're not watching them, they go in any different direction. Mm -hmm. And so quantum split is that it's an experiment where that tells you that if nobody's watching you, you have a million possibilities. So what we try to do is we try to act the same way that we act when nobody's watching us as when somebody is watching us. So when you see our shows, the way we rock out, we rock out like that because we're trying to fulfill that prophecy of that experiment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, how are you guys 
friends from back in the day or you just went to the supermarket and, and she was singing and she said, la, 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 la. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you nailed it. Walked uh, in and said, damn, she looked good. Walked up. <laughs> you in a band? <laughs> No, it's not how it happened. <laughs> no, oh, you can tell them. Tell them. Uh, I met everybody through social media. So actually, Anthony was one of the first other members of Quantum Split. Um, tell them what you thought when you first saw Soleil. Uh, I thought she was hot. I ain't gonna lie. Ooh, but, told you. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, overall, she came to me as like you know what this is what she wanted to do, you know, with this music and you know just her dedication, her passion, and that's what made me realize, like, she's serious, and I'm serious as well, so you know what, let's, let's, let's work. Yeah, we met in Insta on Instagram, uh -huh. and interesting enough, we met each other at Harlem Shake, do you guys know, you know what that is? And I explained to him, I was like, look, like, we're, I want to create something that's going to go all the way, you know, and make a difference in the world, and and be like this very impactful and empowering thing and that people can actually feel, you know, that they can have a voice, you know, or, or they can be who they are and et cetera. So he was so supportive of that, you know, and then when I heard him play drums, like Anthony plays drums like a spirit is like no, he's the best. He the yeah, best. He's amazing. The best drummer. He's, he's incredible. Like at all our shows, people are just like the drummer is insane, you know. So I was blessed to meet me him on Instagram. And then Adrian, I met through email, but he had heard of the band. He heard of the band from a friend, right? Yeah, I wasn't, at the time, I actually wasn't trying to join a band because being in a band is not easy. Be, putting that chemistry together where you put four different people, four different personalities, is work. So it's like a, a, like a chemistry experiment where you could put a bunch of combinations and they might not come out right. Mm -hmm. So, but when I checked out the band, I mean, I saw her singing and I saw this guy drumming. There were two other guys, but I didn't even look at them. I was like, damn. Let me give him. Let me give him a call, and I contacted this dude, and I was like, "Yo, let me uh, let me audition for you guys." I went up to the house, and then when I met when I met them in you person, you didn't contact him. You contacted yes, I did. Me. I contacted him, and he told me to contact you. Really? Yeah. Straight up. You spoke to Adrian first. I spoke to Anthony yeah. first. You look like the series. You look like the series one in the band. So I contacted him, and then what a lie. <laughs> Go ahead. So I went to the house, and when I heard the way that they were speaking about you know changing the world, and about positivity. I mean, I come from the Bronx, so there's nobody talking like that in the Bronx. So when I heard them talking like that, I was like, I I'm staying right here. I'm going nowhere. I told her straight up one day, I'm like, yo, am I as good as your guitarist? Because if I'm not, I'm about to get better than him. Because mm -hmm. I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. And here we uh, go. Ivan, how did you get into the band? Uh, Anthony had found me on Facebook. Somebody had referred you oh, to so me. Oh, so Anthony's the man. Yeah. Yeah. You're the man. <laughs> Anthony is the man. But, yo, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The like, funny thing is that Anthony and I played in a similar scene a few years prior in the Bronx. We, we come from like that Bronx scene. So... Yeah. The bands that we were in back then, we kind of like knew each other and whatnot. So when somebody referred to me, he was like, "Oh, wait a second, you know, like like we knew of each other's bands." So when we met in person, I'm like, "Yo, wait a second, I come from this place," and he's like, "Yo, wait, I know that place too." And we're like, "Oh, snap!" You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like just this um, one big community. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just musically, especially like, you know, in the Bronx, uh, Queens, Brooklyn, like just that whole thing. It's just one big scene where everybody kind of knows everybody. Okay. You know. yeah. And on top of that, he was in shape too. So we were like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, where are you guys originally from? So I, I hear the Bronx a lot. So is everybody from the Bronx? No. no. I'm the only person not from the Bronx. Yeah, where are you from? I am from Long Island. Okay, we have officially entered the Twilight Zone. <laughs> <laughs> Some Bronx people sitting in Brooklyn with someone from Long Island. Yeah. Oh, we have entered the Twilight Zone. <laughs> I am from Long Island. Cue the, cue but the I am, music. Through the boys, I'm Bronx certified. I've stated it's, you know, we, yeah, we I'm wrote, Bronx we wrote, certified. Wait, yo. we wrote one of our best songs in the Bronx. Exactly. Okay, okay. For real. Well, see, that's where, that's where the hip hop started. So we, 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 we can give about. you kudos for that. Yeah. <laughs> Everything else, you know, for life. No. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to lie, though. Long Island, we got some legends, public enemy. We got some legends. We got some ice tea. That's about it. He's right. Yeah. There's always yeah. somebody from Brooklyn in every audience. We yeah. was in Africa. We was like, Brooklyn? Somebody's like, ah! Oh. <laughs> in Africa. Um, I, just, I just got one question, because you, you said your father was here. Mm -hmm. Now, I got some extra security in the back if you guys need help getting out. 
Because <laughs> I, oh yeah, I thought she was kind of hot. Yeah, yeah. Oh ah! yeah. <laughs> uh, no, these guys are like my brothers now. Um, now. <laughs> now. Yeah. But see, it's, that's, that's the, I think, I mean, correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong, I'm, I, I don't mind saying I'm wrong. But that's what makes a family a family. Mm -hmm. right. See, it's not really uh, physical attraction. It is that emotional and spiritual attraction because once we got together, it was business. It wasn't, yep. yo, yo, yo. It, it was, yo, no, we going, this is what we going to do. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's, let's get down. And now uh, you said there were two other drummers there. Where are they at? No, two no, other no, guys. No, two, two other, other guys. guys. Oh, okay. yeah. oh, two other guys. Nah. No, I mean, they weren't, to be honest with you, like, Anthony has always been in Clark's foot. But these guys we found after we had other guys in the band. Good. Let me tell you something. Bands... Bands go through so much trials and tribulations, up and down, different people. Like, you know, you have to find like the group and like stick with that group, you know. And you, know, it's it's so much hard work. It's so much hard work and dedication. And that's why I'm so fortunate to have these guys. Is because without me, they still have that passion for quantum split. You know what I mean? So it's important when you're forming a band that your friendship, your unconditional love, forgiveness, and just like. Being like, there's, there's a bigger picture, you know, so, yeah. The thing is, you also got to make sure that what you say you want is actually what you, you want. want yeah. Because the other members that were in the band, they said, I want to be a rock star, I want to do this. And when it came, they was like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, when I came into the band and I said, yeah, I want to be a rock star, I'm ready. And it started coming, I got scared too. You know, anybody who gets scared, especially when it happens right away. I mean, I was in the band for, what, like two months and we went to Africa after that? Mm -hmm. Played in one of the biggest stages I've ever been on. I was scared. But I decided to stay here and say, you know what? I'm scared, but I'm gonna get through it, and mm. I'm gonna grow, and, and I'm I'm glad, 100% glad I did, and I'm pretty sure he did too, and so did Anthony. You know, Anthony thought he was just gonna come here and you know and just chill. <laughs> nah, son. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are some of besides the formation of the group? What have been your biggest accomplishments? Biggest. Pull out the scroll. Pull out the scroll. <laughs> uh, I. Definitely going back to Africa was definitely a huge step for us. But I feel like for me personally, like for me personally, our biggest accomplishment as a band is finding that synergy and bringing that around. Because a lot of bands, they don't understand the idea of friendship, you know, and that drives a band. And that will, will take us on to our biggest, bigger accomplishments, you know. So I got to say, like having a band, like, really finding and understanding each other for me personally that's our biggest accomplishment nah, besides think, going to africa no nah, i think ivan has a better answer for that Go ahead, one. Ivan. what biggest accomplishment tell them all the stages we played on because you, you didn't say nothing no nah, i'm telling you what it was for me <laughs> know, i'm telling you what it was for me the interesting thing about quantum split for me is that since i've been with the band for me every single step we've taken has been just that much more that success you know what i mean whether it's hey guys, you know, we got this gig right here and it's something that for us we might think it's small but then when we get there it becomes bigger, so much bigger than, you know, what we ever thought it could be. All the way up to like, you know, like they say, going up to flying out, playing in Africa and then, you know, coming back doing Afropunk, you know what I mean? Like whether it's the smallest opportunity to like the biggest spectacle, you know, everything in Quantum Split is a success. Mm -hmm. you know, you know. 100%. So, um... What is it like to be in a group of all males? Mm. And I want you guys to say the same thing. <laughs> mm. We're being in the group and having one female in the group. How does that cohesive unit stay afloat when it comes to troubling times? There's ups and downs, and we understand that men are different from women, we're different from men, we go over our days. How do you guys? I think that, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. Let me get the uh, notebook, let me get the notebook. Get the notebook. Uh, <laughs> uh, being in a group with all males have made me extremely stronger. Mentally, sometimes physically, when I have to actually kick their behind, you mm -hmm. know. Um, especially when there's disagreements, you know, because men, they carry themselves as such a, a, a tall, like, stature. You know, and I totally respect it. But it had, it brought me to be like, yo, at times, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'd be like, okay, how do I 
communicate like how do I communicate with this person when they're just in their warrior zone you know men have this like you know this guy especially but I feel like it has taught me to like say like for example the song say what you gotta say right a lot of the people there well, actually to be honest with you the song has been about situations with the band they don't even know this it's because I wanted to find my voice and not even just a band I have three males here but then I have my father so I have to deal with like that male energy coming towards me. So at first I would just be quiet, handle any, everything in, and my ideas wouldn't be spoken. Or like sometimes I would let things go, you know? But, and then I realized, wait, hold on. Just because I'm a female, I'm not supposed to have this power. That's, that wasn't gonna go. That wasn't gonna be a, a thing for me. So I had to like step up. I had to be like, yo, so like, you're gonna, you're gonna say what you have to say. You're gonna stand up for yourself. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna be cohesive with these male, like with the with all these with all this male energy. You're going to have to you're going to have to be bold enough, you know, which is amazing because I can truly say within my heart that every female should realize the power that they have inside inside of us. Society tells us that females should be calm and, and should and should not like for well society and what i have seen i'm not gonna say that for everyone um should these women should be calm and they should be like submissive and stuff like that but in the band i have learned to like if i have an opinion i'm gonna say it you know because not not because of my own my own woman ego no but because of the benefits of the band you know it has made me realize that if i have something that i believe in or if i have something that is gonna if i say yo adrian could you like turn up your guitar or turn down your guitar or whatever whatever it really isn't about like me being in my own head it's really about the band being the best sound that it could possibly be and reaching the biggest audience right. so being in this band with male counterparts like has taught me like so late like, you gotta stand up and be like and you have to be bold and i feel like that that reaches out to other women especially in our fan base you know to be like stand up for yourself because they get into situations where you know sadly where they they go into a place and they they get bullied or whatever happens and they don't feel that they could stand up for themselves you know so being in this band has definitely 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 taught me that and the end of speech <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> What yeah. a relief. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So which songs are about us then? Huh? No, just say what you got to say. Just say what you got to say. Mm -hmm. So, in, 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 fellas, we, we understand, at least for me, I'm going to say for me, mm -hmm. and we could, we could roll over this. I paid attention to the group when I watched the song. But when she walked into the room, it was so much of a, 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 a presence, and and I guess this must be a, it might be a male thing, but I felt more like protective, and like she should. I really didn't care what you guys were doing, but I was just like, well, she needs to needs more. You need this. I I don't think I asked you guys if you need anything. I was just more <laughs> like you need to see him. So how how do you uh, compensate for the male ego or the male? whatever you want to call it, the start the room, whatever you want to call it. When it comes time to come to an understanding, maybe she's getting dressed, maybe she's wrapping her hair, maybe she's, give me a second, <laughs> or whatever the case may be. How do you guys just take a step back and say, okay, yeah. is, is there a time where it's like, we going on in five minutes, what are you doing? Or is it just like, you know what, just give up. Bus space and let it be. In. Nah, but in reality, it's not even like that. I mean, look at it. We all got long hair. <laughs> we all got so long. This guy got nail, nail polish. We know what's up, you know. Now, in reality, um, this is how it works. Quantum split doesn't work in terms of like genders or any of that. You know, she, she's the captain. Okay. And that's how we look at it. And when we're on stage, you know, that's why she says she could tell me to put the volume up and down. You could tell me to get on all fours, and I'm going to get on all fours, you know. <laughs> but that's how we work. We work like a machine. And we don't look at, uh, you know, this this person is that, this person is this. You know, we work together, and that's why the, that's why this is working. Cause cool. we, we work at it like that. You know, it doesn't matter. If, you know, she could be a horse. We don't give a damn. <laughs> as long as she, you know, she does what she has to do, and I do my part, and he does his part, and he does his, and the rest of the team does their part. It's gonna keep working. So we don't have any problem. Um, in terms of the ego, 
that was one of the that was also one of the greatest accomplishments that we had. You know, is overcoming that ego, because especially as musicians, you know, your ego, you know, you're like, oh yeah, I got it. But then when somebody else tells you from the outside, nah, it doesn't sound great or whatever, you're gonna have a tendency to say, oh wait a minute, what do you mean I don't got it? If I've been working on myself, so that's one of been one of the biggest things to overcome is that ego. And and now we you know we can say that we we definitely we're at a place where well, we've conquered it and we we've, we've gotten this far because of it. Um, what about you? Yeah, I mean, I can add on to that. More of like, uh, when it comes to like, you know, where sometimes, you know, all of us individually, you know, if we're ever going through something or if anyone in particular is like really like not really feeling it, we, we try to work with each other. We try to, you know, benefit them and make sure that they're comfortable. And it's all about reasoning. And with that being said, like, you know, there's days where, you know, if Soleil's going through something, you know, we... We give her a space, but then we also talk about it. We try to work things out and just make the situation better. Okay. We never say what we got to say. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> well, I mean, I, mean I, I don't think I can add any more onto that. You guys gave such a magnificent explanation. No, nah, I've been just make sure he keeps his abs. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's I mean, the important thing, sorry, I mean, I guess if I'm going to throw something, it's just it's important to remember that. At the end of the day, it's a family. We're here for one another, you know, so it's about catching one another. Okay. You know what I mean? Being able to, up. you know, you know, catch the other person, make sure that if you see something is off and, you know, being preemptive to any of that stuff, you know, as much as you can. So you say what you got to say. Yeah, yeah same thing, <laughs> basically. <laughs> this band is very, very open, I'll tell okay. you that. <laughs> well, you know, um, I'm very appreciative you guys have come down. Yeah. Thank you for having we've us. Been, we've been blessed to, with your presence. Uh, and, you know, we're going to sign off. We're going to have you guys perform for us. And we're going to get to that. And I just wanted to say uh, thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, live and direct. Hi, this is Quantum Split. And this song is called Say What You Have to Say. It's important that you stand up for who you are and what you believe in. So we're spreading that message.
So it's important to understand each other and love each other completely and unconditionally. So yes, this song right here is called America, and I hope that it brings you a little bit of hope today. Showcase, baby. Oh. The showcase. 